Hi guys and thanks for tuning back to my channel and today I just wanted to do a dedicated tutorial on how to create routes with the route planner on the GPS and also the route planner in the Garmin Tread app. I have been receiving a couple of emails asking me to do that so uh, so here it is but also before I get there I just want to talk about a couple of features that I found to be very very interesting or very cool with the uh, with the Garmin uh, Zumo XT2 and the first one maybe that was also on the XT uh, maybe I just didn't activate it and besides I haven't used the XT since now since last year so uh, the first feature is the one with the live traffic that shows delays up ahead and um, and how long uh, it's estimated to take so I think that's a very cool feature and number two um, where you look at the weather radar and the temperatures and the weather forecast you can also look at road conditions which I also think is very good and uh, particularly for certain rides that I'm going or certain times a year when the ice could, when the roads could be icy and whatnot so um, it's nice to be able to see the road conditions and then the third feature I really like is, is the ride summary and um, that was a bit of an Easter egg for me and maybe it's in the manual somewhere and I just hadn't read it yet but uh, when you when you are doing a route or when you just do a navigate to function when you get to your destination it pops up with this ride summary telling you um, how many G's you've been pulling and accelerating and then breaking down so with other words you can see how erratic you have been riding and uh, that was very cool um, and uh, when you save your trip uh, it, will, it comes up with, uh, with another display or screen showing uh, the whole route and how you have been accelerating and braking uh, for each of the spots on the route. So it's probably useless for most people, but I think it was kind of interesting. So clearly uh, they have built in uh, accelerometer in, in the... Um, in the XT2. Maybe it was also an XT. I'm not gonna say that for sure. Uh, if it was, I never saw it, I never found it. Uh, but I do think that's a new feature. So, okay, let's go to the uh, to the route planner. And um, what I wanna mention first is that when I write, I like to be very organized. And uh, so what I like to do is to use the uh, Explore app. And it's very easy to use. If you look at Explore as Microsoft Explorer, um, it's just a file, just a server or file server in a way and uh, you can organize your files right there and it's very easy. You, you just create uh, um, containers, uh, it's called, for each of your maybe uh, trips. So in one container you can have routes for maybe uh, two or three or four days uh, that you can separate the routes and uh, put them in these containers and when, when you're finished you can just delete the container or you can save it in case you want to uh, do that trip again. So without any more jabber for me let's get into the app. Okay so let's just go straight into creating a route. Before I create a route let's just look at the explore app. You can reach the explore app from uh, from the main screen here or and also from the apps screen um, and uh, the Explore app is simply um, your file server. That's where your files are stored. Whether it's a route or a track or anything else you save or waypoints, it's stored uh, inside your, uh, your Explore app. The Explore app consists here of two different folders or collections to call it. Uh, you can just call it folders uh, if that's more understandable. I have one that I created for an upcoming trip to Iceland and it's called uh, Island, which is Norwegian for Iceland and it's the default unorganized folder. This is the place everything you create it will go there first unless you tell it to go to any other folder it will go into the unorganized folder and as I mentioned um, on the in the Tread app it's called uncategorized it's really strange why they have two different names on it, but that's just how they have uh, how they have done it. Go figure. So let's go and uh, create a new folder. I, I'm going on a trip now. Let's pretend we're going on a trip from Saturday to Friday. So then I want to create a new collection. I click the plus sign, and I create this one. So I'll just call that uh, that trip uh, tutorial. Tutorial done. 
Now it says the collection contain, contains no items and to import items, we can insert a memory card containing GPX files into the device. So this, this just means that you can take a, um, a memory card, insert it into the GPS, you can import the GPX file and you create a route and it will save it inside that new collection we, we created or wherever you want it to be saved. Uh, you can also, for instance, if you're going to ride uh, TET, um, or TET, whatever you call it, um, which is which are these adventure rides. You can also go on the internet and you can just download the GPX file and you can uh, you can just transfer it over over to a card and you can import it or just via USB on your computer. Whatever. There are many possibilities. Uh, so let's just go out. We do not want to import anything. We just want to create the collection called Tutorial, which is now so far empty. So. Now we can go and create a route. So let's go out of here, and let's go out of here, and then we go want to go to the route planner. So when we are in the route planner, um, the first thing I like to do is to push this button for adventure. So uh, right away we just select that we want to do uh, adventurous ride, and we want the GPS to create more uh, adventure routes and not just a fast time between between two points. Um, you can um, you can add a start point either by searching for it or you can just push somewhere on the map. So I'm going to search for a starting point. So let's do the city of Kongsberg. It's still it, it's in here already from uh, from me doing um, doing this tutorial before. So I'm going into Kongsberg, Norway, and um, now it will ask me if I want to go from the city center. I'm, I'm selecting it here now from the city center or if I want to select the location in the city. So I want to select the location in the city. And uh, so let's say we've been staying categories. Actually here you can select between the Michelin Green Guide or Michelin Green Guide, address intersection coordinates or you can browse the map. But I want to go categories and I want to go from lodging. Let's say I've been staying overnight there. So um, all lodging and let's say I stayed at the quality hotel Grand Kongsberg. So we select, here it also shows the trip advisor review. I select quality hotel Kongsberg, and now um, we have the first spot. Um, and now it asks me to, to add uh, the next stop we're going to. So let's say now we're going to a uh, place of uh, Wittingfoss. That's why, see, Wittingfoss. I need to type in the whole word because it didn't, comment any of anything I wanted right here. Yeah, here, here it is actually, waiting for Norway. So I select that and um, I select it here. Here I want to just go from the city center. It's such a, such a small place. Now you can see it creates a route. So here uh, it has now created an adventures route. And I do, I, I happen to know that here there's a river and the old road is going on the east or on the west side of the river and the new road on the east side. So because I have this on adventures now, it has um, selected the uh, old road on the, on, the, on the west side. So let me slide this over and then now it will show like I'm going half of the road uh, on, the, um, on the new road and the other half on the uh, more adventurous old road. And then you can do the different levels of, um, of adventure you want to travel. So here, I want to have the um, the most adventurous ro uh, road. This is actually very nice, twisty roads with a lot. It's very hilly. Uh, so now, before you can go further, you have to click done. Uh, but for, before we do that, let's let's look at this wrench right here. When you click on the wrench, then you can select uh, if you want it to find the routes based on scenic roads, hills and curves, or or and or popular paths uh, where other motorcycles has been riding. Uh, I don't like to have that on because I um, I don't necessarily prefer to ride where everyone else is riding anyways. So I have that selected off. Let's go back. So before you can select the next waypoint or next spot or before you can finish it, you have to uh, do a select uh, done here. That does not mean you're done with, uh, with creating the route uh, necessarily uh, unless you want to be done. It just means that you're done with this particular segment. So now uh, let's go to another segment. Let's say we're just stopping, stopping here and waiting for us to fill gas and we want to go further. Um, so I, want to, I, I do want to keep it on adventure. I do not want to go straight line or faster time. I want adventure. 
and um, then we just go and select the, the next stop we can search it or we can select it on the map so uh, so let's say I want to go to um, to this place to this town right here calculating the route done so now we have to accept that we're okay with the choice and we are we're okay with this road so we go done right here all right so now we have created this route and now we can save it and be done with it or we can shape it by using this shaping function so let's go and look here and see so let's say I want to go let's say I want to go this road around here and back down it's a bit of a it's a long detour because you actually have to go past here and you have to go back so let's see if you can tell the GPS to uh, to do that so I click on shaping and sorry before you click shaping or it doesn't matter if you hit it first too but you have to select the segment you want to shape so I have two segments on this route and as you can see you can select the segment by pushing now this is selected now this segment is selected so this is the select or this is the segment I want to, to modify by doing shaping so this is now highlighted then I can click on insert I can insert a stop or I can insert just uh, a, a detour without creating another stop so I want to have the uh, the uh, the detour without creating another stop and I want to go up here around here and down here so then I just uh, select the road now we'll try to create a route now it's created exactly where I want to go Keep in mind that sometimes it will try you select something and will try to make some different curves but that's only based on the calculations based on what the gps is told to do the gps will not know your intentions so you have to uh, once in a while uh it's um it's allowed to use your head and you just have to 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 think what what the gps will do based on 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 the gps's instructions so now we have this uh this nice route and uh, this is where I want to go on, on the first day of my vacation trip. So, uh, so I want to go there on, the, on, on Saturday. So what I do then, um, I click done here because I'm happy with the route and uh, check mark. I'm all done. I'm not going to make any inserts or more points or, or anything like that. Uh, so I just click the check mark. Now the entire route is, uh, is done. Then <clears throat> I can either go and I can continue edit or I can save it. So let's save it. I save this. It shows now the ad addresses and everything, but I don't want that. I know that this route, I will go on the first day of my, my, my vacation. So that will be the Saturday. So I just name it Saturday then. Easy peasy, done. So we go back out of the map. We go into the explore just to see our route. The tutorial, there's nothing. Uh, but in an organized that when you create a route on the GPS it will save everything onto in, into the an organized um, collection collection or folder so in under an, uh, an organized now I can scroll down I see all of my stuff here that's not that has, that has not been saved anywhere and there's the Saturday route I can go into it again and it will show up here I click go and off you go so back out uh, unfortunately there is no way uh, at least that I have found that I can now move this into the new collection in the tread app however it's very easy to save your routes into whatever collection that you have created but here I have tried different things this is a share icon uh, you can share to memory card or to the to the um, to your tread app uh, but it's doing that automatically automatically this is now synced to the tread app I will show that in a, in a minute you can click these three icons here uh, this is also more shared you can select and edit you can do import um, you can sort so if you have many of these you can sort by distance or names or, or whatever so no way of uh, of saving this to the to the right collection um, here are all of my all of my routes here I have four items but these are all in and uncategorized so that's all we can do on the GPS. Uh, of course, now I can create more routes. I can name them Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. But it will all be stored in unorganized. And as I mentioned before, uh, when I go on these kind of trips, there are so much to think about. So at least when it comes to routes, I want them to to be organized. So um, what I want to do is to make um, is to put them all into this tutorial folder. So let's switch and let's go over to the mobile phone.
Okay, so I got a mobile phone here and I, I also like to keep things organized on the phone. So uh, on my iPhone, I have created a, a, an icon here that has all of my Garmin apps. And unfortunately, there are too many Garmin apps. I wish they would, uh, would uh, try to standardize a little bit, but uh, there are a few different apps here. Um, so let's go into the Tread app, which is this one. Um, I can show you that when, when the Tread app is running and the GPS is running, um, you, you should always keep the Tread app running. And that's to get smart notifications, obviously, but it's also to be able to get the weather reports and, uh, and uh, road conditions, for instance, um, and, and weather radar. So there are, there are a few functions that you need to have this Tread app running in the background, at least, on your phone. Uh, if I try to exit this app, it will come up right away with a dialog box showing keep the tread app running for the best experience with your Garmin device. Okay, so I click there and I'm back into the tread app. So it's by default, it's tra it starts with a map. And uh, we can start by going to, uh, to the Explorer uh, library and we can see here um, where our trip is. So here, as I mentioned before, here it's not called unorganized, it's called uncategorized. Why Garmin is not seeing this, um, it just beats me. But anyways, and categorized, it also has a new folder that you haven't seen before. It's called Last Import. And um, everything that you import into the GPS, GPS will show there as a last import. And then we'll move it over to Uncategorized. And then you have to move it to wherever you want. So for now, uh, if I go to, to tutorial, it is empty because we have not saved anything there yet. We go to uncategorized, it will show all these strips and including Saturday. So let's open it up. Here it is. It now um, gives us a few options. We can select um, satellite imagery. We can do contour lines or whatever Michelin scenic roads, popular paths. We can show that on the map in the different map layer, uh, but I choose not to. And, um, and but it will show the route that we just created on the GPS itself. You can also go here, click here and edit the route uh, to add more stops or to, to uh, further shape the route if you prefer to do that. Uh, if you're looking at it in detail, you can click zoom and center. It will bring you back to center. If you want to do a group ride with someone or group ride or not, you can share this, uh, this GPX file so by clicking share. And it shows up a window if you want to share it on Messenger or SMS, wherever you want to do, or just AirDrop. You can share the route, and then you can start up the uh, the group ride function in the GPS if you want. Uh, and then you can see each other as well uh, on the map as you drive through this route. It's very cool, actually. I'm not sure if I will ever use it, but it's very cool. <laughs> um, also, uh, you can delete the route if you want or you can click where it says collections. This is where you can save this route to the collection you want it to be saved. So I click collections. Now I have the choice between Iceland or tutorial, or I can create a new collection as well. So, but anyways, I want to save it in tutorial. Done. Uh, if I now go, uh, go out of the map, so I just click X here. I go into the explore library and you can see in the tutorial here Saturday. So inside this, uh, for this trip, for this vacation, summer 2023, I want to have uh, a route created for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're not gonna do that, but we're gonna create one more on or in this Tread app. That will then be the, um, the trip for, for Sunday. So let's do that right away. Let's go back and let's go into the map. And then just to create a new route, we collect the route icon right here. Then it says turn uh, tap on the map to add a stop. But I happen to know that the last stop we uh, we had on the Saturday ride was um, Shen. So then we're gonna go search for Shen, and we we start this route where the other one ended, which is here. So here it's selected. Uh, then we click add to route right here. Now it says tap on the map to add a stop, or we can just uh, search for a place and um, and and add it right here. So let's just search for a place called uh, called Ebby. I have that here already. And uh, done, add to the route. And now it will create it. That's a little, uh, f little further. It's two and a half hours and 196 kilometers. And uh, let's make another stop. We make this stop to be, for instance, there's a place called uh, Ton Stop. This place right here. All right, add to route. 
So this is the uh, southern tip of Norway, and uh, this is covering actually quite a bit of the bit of the the south coast right here. So total time four hours and thirteen minutes, and we have a stop gas stop right here. So let's now uh, shape the route so you can see how that's done. Um, now it's also sitting on faster time, and we can change it. So if you want to change this segment to a more adventurous segment, so now this is highlighted. Uh, Hang on, it's not. Uh, let me see. I can highlight the segment like that, and then I can click um, Adventure. We can add some here. I think this is already uh, most adventurous uh, place. There's only one road going there, and it is fairly adventurous. So um, now I click somewhere else, so I have to undo. And um, I think this is just the only place to go. But if you want to do a detour, uh, then we have to shape the route, same as uh, we did uh, on the GPS. So the way you do that is that uh, you can you can now either save it, and you can go and edit it later, or you can just shape it from here. So then I just push shaping. We have to select the segment you want to, sh to shape, same as on the GPS. So I want to shape this segment right here. It's now highlighted. And uh, insert, shaping, or a stop. So I can insert a stop if you want to have it as like a waypoint, as a gas stop or something, or just as reshaping the route. So I want to reshape the route. I don't think there's really too many other ways to go here, but let's say if you want to go all the way down here and along the south coast. So see if the GPS will accept that or what it will do. Push here. Right, so now it will show me some options how I can shape the route to, to, uh, to go down here. So this is fine. I'm happy with that. Then I push the little check mark right here. And then I want to save this route. I'm happy with this now for the Sunday ride. Save, route name, uh, I'll call that Sunday, obviously. Sunday, save. And uh, and here you can see, like I showed you before, now you can click on the collections and you can get it right into the right collection right away, which is what you cannot do on the GPS. At least I haven't found it. If you, if you find it, please let me know in the comments. So I click Collections, Tutorial, and I save it there. And then I can go out of this map. I can go into Explore Library. I can look at Tutorial. Now I have a route for Saturday and one for Sunday. So that's very easy when, when, when my vacation starts. I just do one after the other. So that's it. Um, there are many other ways you can, you can do it. There are other functions. You can also do tracks, which is like a step-by-step -step track. I don't find that really convenient uh, riding a bike. I prefer to do routes. Um, and um, I didn't mention maybe, but I am only using default maps with the GPS. I have not added any extra maps. And those maps are, are easily route routable. So just be aware if you download maps from the, from the internet, not all maps are routable which means that when you select one point from one point to another, it will, not, uh, it will not create a route, it will just make a straight line. So it wasn't really anything new from, um, from what I did in the, in the last video, uh, but at least it's a, it's a, it's a dedicated video for, uh, for creating a route, so maybe it's a little easier to find the video on YouTube as well. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will try my best to answer, uh, to answer anything. Thanks for listening.